Hello and welcome to Euphoria. This channel explores designing, creating and building models for a LEGO city. We will be exploring the joys and challenges of building official LEGO sets and designing and making modifications and my own creations. In this series of videos I will be explaining how I develop the concept, design and build for a LEGO creation of my own design a mock or my own creation. I'm going to be creating a building for my Lego city. It will be an old astronomical clock that sits in the centre of the town and is a historical landmark and tourist attraction. If you haven't seen it yet, you might want to start with the first video in this series which looks at the inspiration and the impulse to start work on this design. There's a link in the card above and in the description below. In this video, which is part two of the series, I'm going to look at turning the initial ideas and inspiration into a defined concept for the model. This video will be followed by further videos covering the design and build of the model. Look out for these coming up. So now I will take the initial inspiration and work on it a bit more. I need to give consideration to the context, constraints and criteria to determine requirements and develop the concept for the model. That's why I call this the C phase of my design process. So I'm going to take the initial idea for this model, which I developed in part one of this series, and firm it up a bit more into a defined concept. So now we'll look a bit more at context constraints and criteria. First of all, we'll look at context. This model will be a building forming an architectural and historical feature for the town centre. The building will fit in the prime location on the town square or plaza of my Lego city. The site is flat and at street level, but I might introduce some difference in levels or unevenness as this is meant to be a really old building. Because of where it fits, this building will need to provide a passageway or alleyway through to a street or alley behind. And the main viewpoint for the building will be from the front and the left hand side. So the main features of the building should be visible from those sides. Constraints. The plot for the building is a single 32 by 32 base plate. It should be some kind of old astronomical clock tower with the feel of a historic monument and recognisable as a clock building or clock tower. I want it to be minifig scale and fit in with other modular buildings from the Creator Expert modular line. It should be a full building, that's to say not just a facade or a doll's house style building, and it will therefore have all its walls and be viewable from the front, back and sides. It will need to largely follow the modular building standards and conventions. If you want to see what I mean by standards and conventions for modular buildings, see videos on the topic in my channel. There's a link in the card above and in the description below. Although I don't have a defined budget for this build, I have to be able to afford to build this model using fairly affordable and available Lego parts. To develop my ideas, I bought and built the Harry Potter Hogwarts Clock Tower set and the Harry Potter Whomping Willow Castle. There are lots of useful and interesting ideas and parts in those sets. So I rather want my mock to use those parts and a similar colour palette to those sets. If you want to see how I built those and the ideas I got from the builds, please see my other videos on my channel. There are links in the description below. Criteria The building will need to be at least two storeys high to represent a tower, and it will have to fit alongside other modular buildings. There are no real criteria for the height of the building, but given the initial concept of a clock tower, it probably needs to be three or four storeys high so that it can stand out as a feature against other buildings, and it probably won't be more than four or five storeys high because of its age. 
The building will need to look quite traditional and use what look like traditional materials like stone and brick rather than steel and glass. There doesn't need to be any vehicle access to the building so it will be a pedestrian only building. There's a feature in the Harry Potter clock tower set that I would like to include in the design somehow. In that set it's a large pool that forms part of a bathroom that I could probably include as a fountain. It will have some interior decoration that's accessible by having floors that can be separated in the style of a Lego modular building. So, having given consideration to the context, constraints and criteria, they've really helped me to determine requirements and establish the concept for this model. So the concept is now this. A building with a historical feel and containing an old astronomical clock. On a 32 by 32 base plate at ground level. In the format of a tower that's three or four storeys high with separable floors as for modular buildings. Facing the front onto the town square, incorporating a passageway round the building or access through the building to the street behind. A full building, but with the main viewpoint from the front or side, built to minifig scale and modular standards, using the colour palette and parts similar to the Harry Potter Hogwarts sets, possibly to include a fountain on the inside or outside of the building. Now that might not sound much different from the initial concept that I developed in part one, but it has fleshed it out a little and it gives me the context, constraints and criteria that I can use to assess my initial design options in the next stage. Part of the inspiration for this build was the Lego Harry Potter clock tower set. So as a starting point to visualise this concept, I imagine two Harry Potter Hogwarts clock towers back to back on a modular base. Here I've shown what the Harry Potter clock tower would look like on a modular 32 by 32 base plate with another one placed back to back with it. But that isn't exactly how I intend to build it. I'll first need to look at various options and explore some initial design outlines. I intend to design this model on the computer in a Lego CAD program so that I have a digital build that I can use to test out my ideas before getting all the parts I need to build the mock as a physical model. But don't worry, I will be playing around with some real Lego as well. So that was a look at how I developed the concept for this model. Look out for the next video in this series, in which I will look at the opportunities and design options for this build, and hopefully come up with an outline design for this mock. Thanks for watching, please let me know what you think in the comments below and subscribe to this channel if you want to see more videos about LEGO modular buildings.